Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, we connected this assembler to make us some nice, nice, tasty petroleum. Well, it's not that tasty. You shouldn't try it in real life. Um, but it is working well for our factory. Uh, oh, look at that. All right, cool. The important thing that I'm looking at, it fills up in time for the next product cycle. That is a good thing. Uh, and now we're making more petroleum so that we can make more red chips and life is distinctly better. You can just tell. Now then, we had an issue with the heavy oil. I'm going to take off some of these guys and let them spread their goodness into the neighboring tanks here. Let them all kind of um, fill out because we really don't need this many tanks uh, of heavy oil. Uh, and just get these guys kind of going. But it's going to take time to get them all sorted, I think. So. 20k, 17, there we go. And uh, anyway, we'll let it all kind of even out. Uh, but in the meantime, we do need to set up cracking of heavy oil too. So we're going to do that today, first thing. Let's see, advanced electronics. Ooh, blue chips. Yes, we need. Oh, we need blue chips. Yes. All right. Um, the next one is right out here. I think I might even, should I start out here? Ooh, and we have an additional problem here that this is quite far from water. This one, we were kind of lucky. I didn't even think about that. This one had the, um, this was very close to the water. Um, but in this one, we're going to have to travel a little bit unless there's some on this side. We'll explore just a teeny bit. Uh, for that, what I could do, what I'm thinking is just, I want to get this in alignment with this place. So we don't have to go around a bunch of rivers and stuff. So let me just walk there. Let's just walk up here. Uh, I could go down. Let's see. I just want to see where we want to put our blueprints. Maybe a little bit up, like here. How does that look? Oh, that's dead on right there. But, aha, uh -huh, I want to skip this guy here. I want to be just below this. Okay, so this is what we're going to do with this. We're just going to add this here. And I want to just make sure that all of these power poles connect. Because we had some weird issues with the, the connection of the power poles last time. Come on. I also want to get this thing in alignment there. Okay. That one can be spread out. Let's just make them a little bit less iffy here. Like give them a little bit more leeway between each pole. And I think this is better. Okay, this is much, much better. Let's go ahead and just copy this. And we're gonna re we're actually gonna name this. Um so we're gonna call pipes two two way. All right and change the icons to be let's just use an oil icon with pumps that seems like it might be logical to me save all right good happy days are here again and i'll put this in my blueprint folder for oil there we go shove it in here thank you that's weird that you can't click in the bottom part of this Okay, in any case, we'll we'll get it sorted. We have it sorted. And that way they'll align better when we are, are just attaching them. Come on. Come on, nanobots. It's a long journey, but we're fine. Now then, we probably <laughs> we need to figure out how we're gonna get it this way. Um, wow. Okay. We're going to get, we need this. We need the heavy oil to come out this way. So I want to maybe put it beneath that other area. Like here. Let's try it there. Seems okay. Okay. Uh, and this one, so it's the bottom one that's going outward. And we need to put it on this line here and we'll take off this other thing as well we need to take this pump off 
because this is petroleum coming back in. So we're actually a little bit too far. Okay, let's grab a straight pipe. There we go. Great. Okay, nice. Now then, uh, we'll let these guys connect. Come on, nanobots. Work it. Work it, work it. All right, and then we'll do a corner. Of course, the beauty of this arrangement is that it is... It doesn't matter which way you flip it, it's going to work. <laughs> That's always a good thing. Okay. Okay, good. Those probably didn't need undergrounds, but I thought I'd be consistent. And, uh, and remind everyone that pipes have limited throughput. That is the thing that I would like to express most avidly right now, most um, importantly, uh, because that's, that's really why we're putting the pumps in here. Because what happens is if I were to do a long line of pumps like this, just, you know, along the whole ground from, from there to there, um, the flow decreases over time until it's just a trickle. That's why we have to put pumps in between the undergrounds. So, oh, these trees here. Um, there are lovely, lovely trees, but they're inconvenient at the moment. Um, I wish I could just like see through trees or delete them and replant them because look at how pretty they are. They're lovely. I, I love trees. Um, I know people make fun of me saying that you know, trees are the enemy. And we used to think that before squeak through, but uh, they are lovely. They are very nice. So I'm going to have to just, I think I'll just chop down a couple of trees here and just take this off to the side gently and carefully so that we know where it's going. Now that this one, okay, that's fine. I think that is going to be slightly perfect. Now then, we can get this, I'm sure, within 10 undergrounds or 9. So this one can go here. 1, 2. And then we'll get our pump right here. Where did it go? Uh, I know there are some somewhere. There must be some somewhere. Hello, game. Where did you hide them? They're right there. Yeah, they're hiding in plain sight. Best place to park a, uh, a spacecraft, by the way. All right. I need to do this. Continue this upward. Okay, there we go. And we're ready. Just about ready. Nice. Okay. So this is going to work, we hope. We think it might. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to put the controlling mechanism on the front of it. We need to have a... I think what we'll do is look at these tanks and then control it that way. Uh, so let's get our, our red wire stretched across here. Now, should we also look at this stuff? Probably not. I think we're just going to look at lubricant. If lube is doo -doo -doo -doo, greater than 22, whoopsies, 22, 1, 2, 3, 22,000, then you can operate. Um, otherwise, no. Let's just move some of this stuff around. We're going to have to really just start processing this to get it working better. But this is nice. I like to try out different solutions than having trains all the time. So uh, I like to have a variety of things, especially when I explore stuff on YouTube. So it's fun for me to see like what works better uh, or worse or what. Sometimes it's not even about better. Sometimes it's just about like, is this a possibility? Does this work at all? Um, and that's kind of uh, amusing for me to try out. All right, this guy is going to make doo -doo -doo -doo, 
red stuff into yellow stuff. Oh, no, no, no. We have now issues. Hold on. We we now have issues. <laughs> I connected it to petroleum. And I didn't mean to do that. No. <clears throat> yeah, that was a bit of a, a bit of a derp. Sorry. I was getting ahead of myself. I forgot that you have to, there's a two-step process. You crack heavy into light and then light into petroleum. But that is fairly well um, easily organized. What we're going to do is just uh, shove it into here, I think. Going to take this. Put it up there. And actually, it could be just right here. Uh, straight piece, there we go. Straight piece, there we go. And connect. Boom. Right. Okay, so now that's all correct. Let's go and run to the next area. And in the meanwhile, we should put down some radars so that we can see where we're going. Where did our radars go? There they are. I feel like I should have them permanently on my hot bar. Oh my god. Like, it's so hard to even get <laughs> one tile up. It's just crazy, crazy fast. Okay, let's just do that. Nice. Now then, we want to have heavy oil coming in here. So which way is the in one? We The in is here. But why is it not connected? Hmm. We have electricity. Okay, there must be some other issue going on, which would be this. Mhm. Mm it's always important to check things, <laughs> just in case I derped. Derping is okay as long as you fix it. Can't be perfect all the time, even though we do our best. Okay, um, let's go. And by that I mean just recording well and, and getting stuff going. Uh, okay, so nicely done. We can put our pump here. Put it here, uh, kind of in a line. Well, actually what we might want to do is actually change this. I want to be able to have a minimum footprint for the uh, beacons once we get them in here. So what we could do is this and put the pump right here. That would work very nicely. Okay, cool. All right. And of course, the yellow stuffs are going to come out this way. <laughs> it's not long enough. Oh dear. It's fine. It's all good though. No worries at all. One, two. Okay, I just want to make sure we have enough area for a uh, pump to there. Be there. Okay. Now then, um, this can go away for now. And we'll put this one that way. And get the long distance one here. And now we need to hunt for water. Let's go and uh, do a little bit of exploring on this side of the map here. Oh, there's a nice... Oh, you know what we could do? We could do something sneaky. We could do something very sneaky. Uh-huh. We could, instead of taking the um, light oil back, what we could do is take petroleum back uh, and process it over here. But then we'd have additional water issues. <laughs> we still have the water issues. 
But, I mean, all we need to do is just make a pipeline with, with pumps. Yeah, there's like nothing. It's kind of funky. Is this water up here? No, it's just some trees. Tree clump. But that might be better. Hmm. I think we're going to do that. Oh, okay, we're going to have to change the base again. Let me disconnect this here for a moment. And we're going to take this stuff out. We're gonna be very, very sneaky with this. This is this is kind of cool to find something so close, so nice and and tasty close by. Uh, okay, I want to get this. Let's start at this area over here and just get our pumps organized from there. Let's do one aligned here. Okay, the incoming is going to be, okay, this is going to be light oil to petroleum. So the incoming is going to be that. Okay, and then outgoing is going to be this. All right, all set up. No issues whatsoever. When I need radars, I'm just gonna mark this on my taskbar permanently. We're gonna get the water in just a second. Okay, there's the incoming. Let's go and add this. Come on, nanobots. I'm trusting you. Oh, we have no underground. Oh my god. This is horrible. <laughs> we have no undergroundies. All right. Gotta go back to the factory. Go shopping. All right. It's fine, though. It's fine, though. We are exploring new ways of doing things. It's all good. Let's run back to our base. Our factory, which does not fill the space yet. Okay. I want to grab nanobots, of course. Wow, it's taking quite a while to make these nanobots. That's surprising. Um, it's the lack of iron. That's what it is. Jeez. Okay. Get our undergrounds. And I think we should be okay. <clears throat> I think we should be good. Let's see. We have enough. I think we have enough pumps too. Don't really need any more. Do I have any more engines? I have 40. Yeah, that should be plenty. Don't think we need any more than that. This is interesting. These iron lines are actually full. But they're not being utilized because of this interesting arrangement here. Oh my god. Um, I might just put in a belt balancer here. Because it's not prioritizing the way I want it to prioritize. I think we'll just do that. Normally we've kind of done away with belt balancers but in this specific situation so that I want it to work <laughs> I just want it to do certain things um, there we go uh, okay I think we can do it this way yep oh god no <laughs> I hate that oh uh used to be able to do that now you can't anymore what a pain in socks uh, <clears throat> yes all right I hate fast replace it's so it's so annoying it's the worst, worst thing ever okay there we go now we're gonna get a little bit more throughput here hopefully uh, anyway what do we got we have uh, we need some more undergrounds if anything we can put them in the train for the next time let's walk back all right, we have plenty of uh, iron, too, now that we've deconstructed a bunch of stuff. Now then, we need to figure out where exactly we are on this map. 
Do we have radar coverage? That's the big question. Okay, we do here. Okay, it's nice, nice, nice. Uh, we do need to just connect these guys, looks like it. Oh, wow, all right, we're up there, nice. So then, let me just add these guys. Let's just put them this way for now. Okay, so we have output is going to be the this stuff going that way. Change speed. Okay, go this way, take that there. Good. Now we do need another straight piece here. Okay. And that's going to go up that way. This one is missing a pipe here because we do need to get that hooked up to petroleum land instead of uh, the other one, instead of light oil. Okay. We'll and also create two offshore pumps while we're waiting, while we're waiting to walk. That was really good luck that we found that um, <laughs> the other assembler so close by. That's pretty exciting. Okay, so here, <laughs> didn't need this after all. Nice. Okay, cool. Easy to fix. Very nice. Walk. Whoopsies. There we go. All right. And then we need, I think all we need is, oh wait, we do need to connect the corner here. That we did not do. So we have two leeway on this corner. Just not a lot. Okay. Okay, that's one corner done. Come on, nanobots, finish this, please. We have plenty of ingredients. All right, while we are, um, before we get too far, let's just finish the corner. I think that's right, okay, good. Very nice. Now then, we have nothing flowing from here because, ah, uh, yes, because we haven't turned it on yet. I think I want to turn this on before we go any further. So I want to just take a offshore pump here. There it is. That's seven, eight, nine. Okay. We need a regular pump then here. Wherever they went. <laughs> I, I always lose them. Um, hello, there you are. You know what, I'm going to put it on my hotbar for a moment so that I don't lose it. Since we're using it quite extensively. Let's go down from here. Okay, that's less than nine, so we should be good on that. Take this up. There we go. Okay, we are now making stuff. Great. Looking good. So this is all coming up this line here. Let's just make sure that we're getting it along the line. Let's walk. Uh, oh, we probably also need some slight amounts of water. All right. Uh, offshore pump get this going. And I think what I'm going to do, since we have this in our blueprint library, I'm going to delete half of this stuff. Not, not that though. We need to just delete one row. Okay. And so we can place this down. Now then we want to go reverse. There we go. We want it to go that way. But the first one just needs to be the regular pipe. It's a lot 
faster than just counting the whole thing again. Thank you, nanobots. Nanobots are so useful. I love them. Nice. Okay. Let's find where we need our water to come in. Oh, apparently from the bottom side. That's not ideal. But it'll be okay. Uh, I do want to make, um, have some leeway here. So we're just going to kind of go around the machine so that we can fit our beacons later. One, two, there we go. Put this pump there. Do we need power? And we will get our blueprint. So it's quite a bit, quite a distance away. Now that these pumps are going upward, we need to go this way. Perfect, except for this bit. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's get rid of these guys. Don't need that many things. All right, we are very close to completion here. I think I'll put another pump here because I think there might be some, this might be too long, just slightly too long. All right, very nice indeed. Good. So we don't have any water. Why don't we have water? Let's find out. Ah, there we go. Aha, water is here. Yay. Nanobots just missed a tile. Okay, and we have things going on. That's what you're doing thing. We don't have um, light oil. Let's find out why. There's another thing missing. Oh, that's right. We didn't walk slowly over here. We just went straight to the uh, the water bit. Okay, here we go. There it goes. There the oil is flowing. The petroleum's here. Yay! I love this. Like, it's so huge. <laughs> it's, like, look, you can see how all the gears are turning. That is awesome. I love it. Okay. Let's just make sure that we have this stuff flowing all the way back to the oil area. Ah, and we do not. We need to... I forgot to add that thing. Wait, did we get uh, radars out here? Yes, we have radars all the way out there. Uh, we don't really need radar on that lake because there's no biters to, to eat it up or anything like that. Okay, this is great. We're, we're getting stuff now. This is good. And these guys are going to be draining soon. And all we really need uh, at this moment is um, we need beacons and we need uh, modules to get this at higher productivity. That was kind of fun. It's an interesting little project to do. But uh, let me just change the speed a little bit. But I think that's probably a good point to end for today. There's a lot more stuff coming, but it's all big projects. So yay, we have this done. We also are going to need to add stuff like batteries and um, uh, productivity, not productivity, uh, processing units, the blue chips. So we're going to have to find a place to put those. I think we took our markers off the map because we were using these for other things. We're having red circuits made here. Plastic is over here. And I think we decided we were going to do sulfuric acid elsewhere. Um, and then give it to an assembler for blue circuits. We are not, okay, we're not making it here. That I just wanted to make sure and check that. But yeah, this stuff should be draining away soon enough. Um... Yeah, and we're we're making progress. This is great. And yeah, we have plenty of tanks to hold petroleum, that's for sure. But uh, we'll see. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.